Welcome to the technical studies. In this video, I will tell you what is the difference between inch dia and inch meter in piping and how to do the calculation with examples. Please subscribe, like and comment. Inch dia and inch meter units are vital for measuring and managing piping construction tasks. Here's a quick guide to help you understand and apply them effectively. Inch dia, or dia inch, abbreviated as DI, is used to measure the progress of piping fabrication, especially welding. It converts the pipe size into an equivalent inch dia value helping track welding activities. Let us try some examples. Imagine that you have an 8-inch NPS pipe that needs to be 40 meters long. Since pipes aren't made in indefinite lengths, you'll need to weld shorter sections together. If you use 12 meter long sections, you'll need three joints. The total inch deer would be 8 inches, that is the pipe size, multiplied by 3 joints. Here the total inch diameter is 24 inches. Example 2. For a 16 inch pipe with 5 joints, the inch diameter would be 16 inches multiplied by 5 is equal to 80 inch dia. The equation for inch dia calculation is pipe size in inches multiplied by total number of joints for that size. This measurement method is also used for NDT tests like radiography and dipenetrant testing. What is inch meter? Inch meter, or IM, is used to measure the progress of piping erection and hydro testing. It converts the length of the pipe, erected or tested, into an equivalent inch meter value. Here is some examples for inch meter calculations. For a 14 inch pipe, that is 80 meters long, the inch meter value would be 14 inches multiplied by 80 meters is equal to 1120 inch meters. Another example. For a 10 inch NPS pipe, that is 60 meters long, the inch meter value would be 10 inches multiplied by 60 meters is equal to 600 inch meters. Equation 4, inch meter calculation. Inch meter equals pipe NPS in inches multiplied by length of pipe in meters. This measurement helps in tracking the progress of piping erection and hydro testing jobs. What is the difference between piping in a unit and piping on a pipe rack?
unit piping is more complex and requiring more joints per pipe length. Rack piping is usually straight and requires fewer joints. For example, a unit piping job might have 5 joints in a 12-inch pipe. The total inch deer shall be 60 inch, while a rack piping job with the same pipe size might have only 2 joints, the total inch deer shall be 24 inches. Consider a configuration with a 12-inch NPS pipe with 5 joints, flange, elbows, reducer, and a 10-inch NPS pipe with 3 joints, flange, reducer. The total inch deer would be 12 inches multiplied by 5 joints, plus 10 inches multiplied by 3 joints, equals 60 plus 30 is equal to 90-inch deer. Thank you for watching.